Hey guys, back on here tonight to show you how to update your PSP 3000 to official firmware 5.03. Then the next step is we're going to add the Chick Hen R2 so that we can play homebrew on our PSP 3000. So first off, download the links that will be in the description. Next step is to hook your PSP up to the USB and turn it all on. Once it's ready to go, I've got it hooked up. I'm just going to do mine right now. Open up mine down here. It'll pop up in a second. There it is. So there you can see the inside of my memory stick. Now you've downloaded two files from the links. First one you want to open up is the 5.03 eBoot. So it'll look like this. That one inside eBoot. Once you have that one open and extracted from WinRare, you want to go to the PSP memory stick, go into the PSP folder, go into your game folder, and as you can see here I created a folder called update. You create one as well. Just go to new, right click new folder. There it is, go down, make a new folder. And drag it and drop it inside. So it's inside the update folder. And there's our eBoot. And there you go. Now you are ready to go to your PSP. So as you can see now, I've got my PSP 3000 there. There's the microphone. I'll show you that it is a 3000. Exit USB mode. And there we are. PSP update version 5.03. So we'll select that. Don't mind the crazy noises in the background. That's one of my kids' toys. It has a light sensor, so it goes off every time I turn on or turn off a light. And there you go. You see we have PSP System Software version 5.03. So we're going to hit start. Follow along, we accept, enter, and now it's installing our new official firmware 5.03.
once this video is finished, you can follow on to part two to add the chick hen homebrew enabler revision or release two to your PSP 3000. It will work on any PSP model that has official firmware 5.03 and with chick hen R2 on a PSP 1000 or PSP 2000 that has a hackable motherboard you can use it to add custom firmware to those PSPs. You don't have to make a magic memory stick from your computer and open up your battery and create a Pandora battery or wait for a friend with a custom firmware one or even buy a Pandora battery. You can do it with Chick Hen. Just download that use the PSP tool version 9 create a magic memory stick and a Pandora battery with what's inside your PSP and just continue the steps that it says don't use what I say as a tutorial if I have time I will try to make one for you but I'm pretty sure there is one out there that you can search until I have the time. Alright, we can now delete the update. PSP will restart by itself. Turn the volume up here. All right, now that's deleted. Just go over here. Five point zero three. There you go. And how do you like my theme? It's a PTF. I do have a five hundred pack. I didn't create any of them, I just downloaded it from another link. I'll have a link for that pretty soon as well. So continue on to part number two for the Chick Hen Homebrew Enabler. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe guys. Peace out.